Good evening, ladies, gents. Piot here, Light Forest Global YouTube channel. Uh, we are well post non farm payrolls. Uh, the number was weaker, I mean, the headline, right? Uh, as well as wages. Uh, so, well, I'm quite surprised where the dollar is right now. It should be a little bit lower. All right, my way of thinking. Not sure if my way of thinking is correct. But anyway, from the FX perspective, uh, weekly closes are gonna be very, very important. Uh, so meaning that how the weekly candles are gonna look like, it might be that, well, you know, they are going to recover towards the end of the week, who knows? Uh, but it's like almost, almost what President Trump was looking for right meaning number one or number one if you wish uh, the stocks is around the high we are going to get back the, to the stocks in a second then the oil prices are going down as a second thing so we are below 60 or we were below 60 i don't know where we are right now uh that what i've seen 30 minutes ago and then uh, finally uh, the dollar is losing a little bit of the ground uh, again, from the FX perspective, from the Forex market perspective, I think the wages, that's that's the key thing here, right? So, well, it's going to be really, really worth to watch overall, maybe even dollar index, where we are going to get and the close. So, basically, taking into the consideration the trading plan we were discussing right before the non-farm payrolls, um, sitting long Euro-Dollar, uh, almost exactly as discussed and I'm sitting uh, short dollar yen or at least before I left I've been sitting short dollar yen uh, but here in that in that case uh, it wasn't that great so I I chased the price a bit uh, so well we will see closer towards the uh, end of the day on the other hand let's get back to the indices so we hit another high uh, but profit taking is going on well almost impossible uh, but there are no reasons for the president trump to you know to tweet anything uh, well headline we care uh, unemployment rate uh, as expected but the wages are weaker so well no spending no spending unless they are going to spend something on the army well that's that could be the key uh, so if we are going to continue to see uh, the profit taking toward the end of the week when we are talking about the indices that could turn out uh, and influence the dollar yen well at least that's my way of the thinking hopefully I'm not, not gonna be that wrong. Uh, so that's what we have, uh, FX and indices. Then let's have a look what we have on the crypto side. Well, significant development. If you are going to check the daily chart, so what happened? We have this falling trend line, right? Let me change the hand, let's do this okay that's even better so what we have we have this uh, falling trend line on the daily chart it was a breakout to the upside and yesterday today market took off and it's retesting right what is important in that point the reaction right well we can try to uh, explain different word we can try to explain that it's because of the European Central Bank positive, more positive towards the, uh, the digital currency. We can explain because of the Feather positive news, etc., etc. But overall, from the chart perspective only, right? There was a breakout, retest, and we are trying to continue. The thing is that we have to take out the high we've seen three days ago, and we have to close above. That's gonna be significant development. On the other hand, gold 
trying to rally and oil well be careful guys i know that we shouldn't short the oil on friday right uh, i told you many 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 times that uh, the big guys what i've heard from the big guys doing uh, the trading on the pit uh, on the oil never try to short the oil on friday especially during the new york session okay so let's wait till the monday why because everyone uh, i've seen plan i've seen plenty of uh, notes plenty of comments uh, arguing that well uh, oil because of the weaker dollar should go higher but we cannot get back above 60 right so that's uh, that's very interesting and i would be very 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 careful here so yes i'm very positive when it comes to the gold when it comes to the silver when we are talking about the precious metals precious metals that's perfectly fine but again uh, as you know and i've been sharing that with you quite some time already not that bullish on the oil i would say the very 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 bearish but okay let's leave it uh to the next week uh it's not a great time uh to be on the short side uh on the oil ladies gents have a great great weekend recharge your batteries and i do promise you as usual the market is going to be open sunday and monday so there are going to be plenty of opportunities to try to trade some setups again based on what we discussed pre non-farm payrolls uh, well i'm short dollar yen here i've chased the market a bit i'm long euro dollar almost as discussed uh, pre non-farm payrolls and uh, i skipped dollar uh, usd cat uh, so we will see what is going on on monday guys take care and see you on monday take care goodbye